So today, I am going to talk about how to be a successful entrepreneur in the era of large language models. What do you need to think about to be successful? And what are the problems that you will face? The first thing is we're in the era now of AI human symbiosis. Everyone in this room, everyone who runs a business must be thinking about how AI will transform their business. Now, artificial intelligence is powerful, but it is only powerful because we made it powerful. AI is the sum of all of our creativity, all of the world's creativity. Our knowledge is what powers AI. But in the future, we will be using AI in every aspect of our lives and in every aspect of our work. So, why is AI so powerful? Well, one of the reasons we are seeing now is emergent intelligence. Now, emergent intelligence is where AI can reason. Artificial intelligence, what it is, is a pattern matching machine. They look for patterns and they use mathematical formulas, statistics, to come up with answers. But AI goes beyond that. We have actually seen that AI can generalize understand things, and apply them across categories. Let me give you an example. An AI model can be trained so that it understands when it rains, people go out and buy umbrellas. The AI can understand this. However, the AI goes beyond this. Large language models can now understand without being trained that if people are buying umbrellas when it rains, they will also be buying raincoats when it rains. That leap, although it seems very small, is huge. This is the ability to reason. And if we take this across larger and larger language models, more and more powerful cloud computing systems, with more and more data, we are going to get AI that can solve more and more difficult, complex problems for us. So, when you are running your business, you need to think in terms of AI, in terms of data. You shouldn't be making your key decisions in your business just based on what your gut says. When you make a decision in your business moving forward, you should be leveraging artificial intelligence. You should be using artificial intelligence to help direct you to the best answers possible. What we are going to see in business is that more and more of our key decisions, how many products should we manufacture, what markets should we go after, who should we be partnering with, who should we work with, these decisions will be delegated to artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence will have the data to see into the future and help us make much more informed choices. So you can start doing this today in a very simple way. You don't need any engineers to start allowing you to make decisions based on your personal data. Have any of you heard of private GPT? Private GPT allows you to upload documents, PDF files, Word documents, and have AI, the large language model, analyze these documents and then ask questions of them. So if you upload your customer data, you can start asking questions about your customers. Which products do our customers want most? Why do they like these products? Where, what products should we be developed that are similar to these? Asking data, asking questions of your private data is the future 
of business. And you should start doing this today. Have you heard of Emma? Emma is one of the hot new startups out of Silicon Valley. So Emma is a universal AI employee. Emma can write proposals for you. Emma can talk to your customers. Emma can analyze data. What we are seeing now is the first generation of AI-powered employees. We will have AI-powered employees working for our companies in the coming year. And if you're an entrepreneur and you don't have a lot of resources, you should be thinking, how can I leverage AI? AI engineers for coding, AI customer service, AI HR, all of these areas are exploding right now. Did you know that one of the hardest things to do as an entrepreneur is to bring on new talent, to recruit employees. It takes a huge amount of time, but it's essential. Well, you can save yourself a lot of time by using AI. AI can actually interview employees for you. It will look at their expressions through a webcam. It will analyze the sentiment. It will tell you, it will look for key words and it will tell you whether this employee is a good fit for your company. So you can spend your valuable time only talking to the employees that you are most likely to hire. But it goes beyond that. AI today, they have companies like Second Nature that will help you onboard your employees. So when a new employee enters your company, the AI can train it. You don't have to use your own resources to train your employees. And we are going to see this across all professions. In fact, AI is going to play a greater and greater role in how we manage our employees, from hiring to training to actually directing employees in what to do in their jobs. So soon, we will have AI bosses, AI managers, AI that decides whether this employee should be promoted or whether this employee should be laid off. These key decisions, we will rely on AI. This year, as you've probably noticed, is the year of the humanoid robot. Robots are everywhere. So Elon Musk has a robot. There's the new figure robot powered by OpenAI. And we are going to see robots entering the workplace, especially factories, manufacturing. Humanoid robots are coming. These robots are being positioned to transform everything, transform how we manufacture our goods, how we provide customer service in restaurants, in hotels, in other industries. The big breakthrough now is that artificial intelligence can actually allow these robots to understand us and what we want. If you've seen the latest demos of these robots, they can talk to you, they can ask you questions, and they can understand your answers and perform actions. Another huge area is digital twins. So right now, you can go online and you can create a digital twin. You can do this at sites like HeyGen and many other companies are offering this. But they will, not only, they will not only create a copy of how you look, they will create a copy of your voice. So everything you say can be come out of the AI as if you're saying it. And they can translate that into any other language. So how close are we to the point when there will be a digital twin that people cannot tell is different from you? An identical digital twin. So somebody could call you up and they won't know if they are speaking to you over video or if it is an AI. Well, I will tell you, within five years, we will have this. 
Within five years, I guarantee you, we will have AI digital twins that will act and talk just like you. And this can extend your ability to actually go out as an entrepreneur and achieve far more because your digital twin can be out there interfacing with customers, talking to employees, doing all sorts of tasks on your behalf. Another big breakthrough area is in programmatic SEO. AI can now literally create a thousand landing pages with the press of a button. You just need to give it some basic information. So all web development in the future will be AI based. You won't need a team of web developers. You will literally, for simple things like landing pages and simple websites, AI will be able to do this right now and much, much better in the next few years. Sora, everybody's talking about Sora. The amazing thing about Sora is not only can it create a video, but it edits the video. And we are getting to the point where we can literally talk to that video and make changes. Change the hat the person is wearing. Change their face. We will be having a dialogue with our media. By talking and interacting with our media, we will be able to direct it and produce incredible quality videos. Within five years, these videos won't be one minute, but they will be, they could be an hour long, hour long video. Anybody in their home can create a professional quality video. Google has just launched Genie. Genie is a huge breakthrough. Genie was trained by watching 30,000 hours of video. It didn't, it didn't play the game, it just watched video of games being played. And now Genie, simply by typing in text prompts or showing it a picture, it can create a game. You have to just show it one picture and Genie will create the entire game. What does this mean for our future? This means that in the future, AI will be able to watch a video of any software program out there and create that software program. It doesn't need the source code. It can just observe and create. We are getting to the point with Google, with OpenAI, where they are building foundational model, foundational agents that can go out there, observe the world, and understand how to recreate and perform actions. Enormously powerful. But you have to remember, AI is not a business model. AI is a technology. People get confused and they think, if I have AI, my business will be successful. No, most businesses will not be successful simply by adding AI. It's what can AI do for your customer? That is the question you have to ask. Not, is this a cool thing I can add to my business with AI? No. Always go back to your customer. Your customer is providing the demand for your product or service. Unless you can leverage AI in a way that gives them a unique value, something your competitors can't offer, then you are not going to jump ahead with your business. I will tell you, you need to think in terms of moats. It is more important than ever to understand that having AI is not enough. You need a competitive wall around your business. And usually, this doesn't come from AI. Because everybody now can access the API of ChatGPT. Everybody can do that. You gain no competitive edge by accessing their API. All you do is keep up with your competitors. If you want to get ahead of your competitors, you have to think more broadly. How can I bring my users together and create a network effect? How can I have special relationships with my customers? 
What is technology I can patent? What is proprietary data I can generate? These are the way you succeed with AI. You have to go beyond. And you have to remember that if you are in the path of the big, the big AI companies, the platforms like OpenAI or Google or Facebook's Llama, if you are in their development path, you are going to get crushed. Because those companies, every big company, your whole company may just be a feature they add on. We've seen this with Pika, the video company Pika and Runway. Now Sora is out. How can they compete with Sora? Midjourney is an incredible uh, development tool. But everybody, Microsoft, Google, are giving away the images for free. So Midjourney has no business model. In the future, you need to think, how can I develop unique products that aren't in the line with the big players and compete there? That is where developers will win. So, I will conclude by asking you, how will you transform your business with AI? Thank you very much.